Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install the Steam Launcher in Windows 10. So, pretty much Steam Launcher is technically a cool feature that's used for gaming. It has lots of games that are out there that can be pretty much installed underneath, pretty much for Windows. Let me see if I can show you their site real quick. Steam Powered, I literally just had it right now, .com. And this is pretty much their site. And pretty much it's a lot of games that can be installed, virtual customizations that are in there. Um, so many features, Not just this is not just for Windows either, it's pretty much they have these also for Macs and for Linux too. And there's many games, there's a lot that are free and there's some that you can pay and there's also exclusive ones. Pretty much some of the same games that you get on PlayStation or Xbox can be pretty much be founded on here too and probably even cheaper. So we're going to be showing you how to install the Steam Launcher in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you do is pretty much go ahead and go to a browser and this is what you're going to get to from that point and what you're going to look for is called steampowered.com and you'll pretty much get to their site that I pretty much showed you earlier today and pretty much what you're going to do is when you go to the top you'll see an icon on the top corner and it pretty much says install steam. Go ahead and select that file. Depending on your system, see it says also available on a Mac and this is pretty much for Linux so I'm pretty much right here. Um, pretty much we already don't care. We're going to look for the one that's already for Windows. Go ahead and select that file and let the CXC file download. Once the download file has came up, go ahead and select that file and you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. From this point, I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser. I don't need it anymore. And you're going to come up to their welcome screen of Steam setups. You can probably read all of this if you want to. I'm going to ignore this and just go ahead and press next. From this point right here, you can choose which language you want. I'm pretty much going to go ahead and then leave the English for me, depending on your own region and language that you want to choose. You can choose the best, what's best for you. From that point, I'm going to go ahead and press next. It has the options for the destination folder. If you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and change this, depending if you had like another hard drive and stuff. If you're not a person that knows how to do these customizations, just leave the settings as they are. From this point, just go ahead and press install. And it says pretty much it's already been installed. Pretty simple. And you would think that's pretty much it, but it's not. Actually, you need to run Steam because it's going to download additional files that are needed. So here we are. It's updating Steam and it's going to download some updates that's required for this. Depending on your internet service, it might take a little bit longer. Mine's like 100 megabits per, per second, if I'm correctly. So pretty quick on my downloads here. And we're going to see what it does once it's completed. Now it's pretty much says that it's extracting the packages right now. It's now installing updates. And it'll probably pop up right now. Let's see what it does. And here it is. From this point, pretty much Steam has been installed on this computer. I can probably go into more depths of showing you how to create an account or how to log into one, but that is another video that you can probably find out there. But this is pretty much it, how to download and install Steam in Windows 10. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.